Welcome to Real Estate Success Partner. We're your host, Devin Abu. David Wynn. And we're here to talk about how to have great success in every market. And talking about success today, Dave, you've got another awesome guest. Who did you bring with us? Man, I got my good friend, Matt Blaylock out of Arkansas. Uh, what's going on, Matt? Hey, hey, guys. Thanks for having me. It's hey. a pleasure to be here. Yeah, thanks for being here. So Riverwood Homes, is that correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here in Northwest Arkansas. I love it. I love it. And I know based on our, our conversation in the green room, um, you guys represent a lot of neighborhoods, but in 2024, you've got three uh, primary locations you're working on. Where are those at? So we've got one kind of really central in Northwest Arkansas in a, a town called Lowell. Okay. And we've got some a little south of Lowell in Fayetteville which is going to be really cool. It's a retirement community. So oh, wow. it's going to be more unique to the Fayetteville market. There aren't many communities, if, if any at all, that are going to be like it. That's awesome. Um, and then sort of just to the west of Fayetteville is Farmington. And we've got a community going in as, as well there. That's more of your traditional style housing. That's great. That's great. So Matthew, uh, Arkansas, are you native to Arkansas? I sure am. It's funny. I, I was born and raised here in Fayetteville, went to Fayetteville High School, and then went to the University of Arkansas. I uh, <laughs> I couldn't be more native than I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. So you uh, graduated from college at Fayetteville. Did you jump right into real estate, or where'd you, where'd you yeah. get to You know, I, I actually got hired on uh, here before I even graduated. It was a few months before my graduation, and I was Oh, so thankful they, they offered me the job because I uh, I love working here and I couldn't really see myself anywhere else at this point. That's awesome. Well, and, and from what I can see, you know, again, you can you can tell me if, if I'm wrong here, but pretty deep family roots uh, with Riverwood Homes. Is that correct? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So my uncle is the, the, the owner and operator. He's the builder here. And I uh, when I graduated uh, high school, I, I reached out to him and I said, hey, do you guys just need some help like on the job site? I'm just looking, you know, for some labor. And they they took me on. I, I worked awesome. there for several, several years just doing job site work. And then uh, when I got going into college, they, they asked me if I'd be interested in an internship. And I was like, yes, please. That sounds amazing. And it really just kind of shot off from there. Well, that's awesome, man, because that goes from construction hard hat, right, all the way up to, you know, real estate sales. So you really were involved in the bricks and sticks, right? Uh, yeah, and I, <laughs> from I a younger give age. myself that much credit. You know, I was more of like a, a job site cleaner. You know, the guys that did the real work, <laughs> they do the work and they, they'd call me in to clean up afterwards. But, it, you know, I did learn a lot of, you know, stuff about the, the construction of our products that I feel like, you know, is... It's unique to that position. Well, that's what I was going to say. You know, for you really have an insider's view on how these homes are built. So, you know, what yeah. I've always found is when you really have that inside scoop, it makes it a lot easier to move the product because you can stand behind it. You believe in it. Oh, absolutely. You know what goes into I, producing I, it, yeah. right? Absolutely. I live in a Riverwood home, and I I couldn't see myself living in any other product. It's it's brand great. I, I really can't say anything bad. <laughs> well, let's, let, let's talk about that. I, I know what it is, but what's what's that what's that price point for that for the average home there? You know, so we're depending on the floor plan about 196, 197 per square foot. Um, and we offer a very wide array of floor plans. Primarily we're doing three bedroom, two bathrooms, but you know, we've got a pretty wide array of sizes. Our our smallest is gonna be around fourteen hundred square feet, but we, we build all the way up to almost 27, 2,800 square feet. So we That's awesome. Pretty spread out. Well, well I, I'm sorry. I'm going to cut you off real quick here. You said 1,400 square foot starting at a couple hundred thousand dollars. Let me tell you something. We're here in Texas, and if you're looking at 1,400 square foot brand new, you're talking almost four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars $500,000. So Ooh. talk about affordability. Right? Yeah. 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 That's you awesome. know, That's that's really what the the owner here focuses on. He he loves bringing in affordability to this this market here in Northwest Arkansas. We love working with first time home buyers, first responders, teachers. We you know that we really enjoy that. Well, you know you know what they say about the economy and where the uh, public's going with the American public. You know the middle class is there's no more longer a middle class. You know the fact that you're making yeah. affordability for homes that's in a, a price range in the 200,000. You know that's that's incredible. That's incredible that there, there's even homes out there. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, I uh, 
I haven't ran the numbers recently, but as early as last year, our uh, at least 75% of our homes were under 350000 Wow. Yeah, so you guys are out there building some affordable homes. They're quality homes. You know that. You used to help build them. Yeah. Now you live in one, and you sell them every single day. And, you know, talk about family roots, right? You know, that's that's where, yeah. you know, those values come in. And you guys said, hey, look, we have a demand for inventory in this 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 part of the country. And at the end of the day, we're not going to build the houses that cost a million dollars because we want to make sure right. these homes are affordable for the common man yeah. right, and the common person. And that's exactly what you're doing. I love it. I oh, absolutely yeah. love it. Yeah, it's it's it, it feels good, you know, to be able to come into your job every day and feel good about what you're doing and, and be able to, like you said, stand behind the product because it's yeah. for me, it's not even something that I have to think about. It's just, you know, I, I've seen it. I, I know it. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's talk, let's talk about your duties a little bit, man. Yeah, because I know like, you, you know, what, almost 300 transactions last year or something like that. Two or three. Yeah, years. gosh, we were very busy last year. <laughs> yeah, and you were involved in all of them, you know. So, yes, how, sir, yes. how, how the heck do you do it? <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I, I learned from the best. I've got two great teachers here. My, uh, my, my two teachers. I had Linda Marquis, so she is the mother of our owner, Mark, and she has been in the real estate industry for, gosh, 50, 60 years. She, right. she has been an incredibly long practice agent. So she. She's had a wealth of knowledge. And then our executive broker, he is, he's now the principal broker here. His yeah. name is Sam Nickham. And I, I, every time I hear him talk, I, I want to have a notepad out and write down to this guy. <laughs> just, I, I, I could not shout him out enough. Uh, Sam Nickham is uh, just Jesus knowledge when it falling comes. out of his it's, pockets. Right. <laughs> I, I promise you every time I hear him doing his thing with customers, I almost want to, tell the buyers like please stop talking i need to hear sam like, I, <laughs> he's very good at what he does you need to get some ai on him that's listening at all times so you can duplicate I, that uh, right yeah. <laughs> I, seriously, I could i could talk for hours just about how good sam is and what he does that's amazing he, he has taught me such a, a wealth of knowledge that i so you've got some mentors. I think every day for, yeah. It's, you've got some amazing great. mentors, you know, and that's what more can you ask for? You know, not no. only a history in the industry, but just, you know, people that actually care about the customer. Yeah. And that's, I, I can tell, you know, the, the again, what goes back to, you know, the, the price point you guys have marketed yourself in, the size of the homes that you guys are building, you know, making sure that you're building these homes at an affordable price point. There, There's definitely, you know, just a, a amazing values here with uh, with your, your company. So I uh, Hats off to you guys for the things that you're doing hey, for thanks. your community. That's amazing stuff. It really is. Yeah, hey, Matt, gosh, so, we, we're thankful to do it. So, so let's talk about Arkansas a little bit. You know, we're we're we're, yeah. we're in Texas. You know, in Dallas, <laughs> Texas. But you know, we're a national lender. We're in all 50 states. You know, um, you know, real estate was a little bit down last year, but most of the uh, realtors I talked to in Arkansas had a great year last year, including yourself. You know, yeah. what's what, what's the draw to Arkansas? A lot of people, are, uh, the affordability is number one. Yeah. The landscape, yeah. the Ozarks, the mountains, everything Beautiful. else. Is, let's let's talk about that. Yeah. Are you seeing a lot more people move to Arkansas because of the Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So Northwest Arkansas is just like, uh, it's amazing. I, I really, uh, for lack of better words, it's just amazing. You know? Yeah. Uh, we've got a, a beautiful mixing pot of, of people and culture here. It's very yeah. diverse. You've got the University of Arkansas here in Fayetteville, which is a huge drawing point. And it is. Our, our economy here is really insulated by uh, some pretty big companies like Walmart, Tyson, J. Right. It, those those three companies alone draw tons of uh, workers, you know, yeah. people, uh, skilled laborers, workers, uh, upper management, corporate guys. I mean, I could, <laughs> I could go on and no, on. You're right. it, it really brings in a lot of different people here to work. Uh, especially Walmart, you know, they, they yeah. require their, no. their guys to have an office in Northwest Arkansas. So. Well, I, I know that because we did a loan for, uh, one of the senior VPs. I, I actually think he was, uh, uh, I think he was, I can't say CEO, but he was up there, uh, for, yeah. uh, for Walmart. And it was pretty wild because his primary residence wasn't in Bentonville. Right. Uh, but he purchased yeah. a home specifically to be close to the Bentonville location. And then he'd fly yeah. back on the weekends to be with his family. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so, so, you know, you're hundred percent, that's awesome that they're, they're doing that because they're not just 
putting a, a, a business there, right, and saying, hey, we're going to plan ourselves here, but they're also saying, hey, we're going to be part of yeah. the community uh, by requiring for our people to office here, right? I love that. Yeah, it's it's great. And uh, Northwest Arkansas is adding all kinds of stuff. We've got Crystal Bridges, which is just, it's a world-renowned art museum. And I mean, there, there's constantly new things that are going in. I, I already mentioned the University of Arkansas. That's a huge draw for me. Yeah. <laughs> A graduate, I, I love going to the football, the basketball, the baseball games. There's, in in my opinion, there's always something here to do, and it's it's a great spot to. That's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. So you've got a lot of great amenities, things that are coming in there. Affordable yeah. housing, right? I mean, Dave, I think we might need to buy some houses out there in Arkansas. Right? Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> hey, yeah, if y'all ever want to swing by, I'd love to show y'all around. Yeah, love it, love it. Well, I know who I'd be buying from. There's no question about that, right? We're definitely talking our, our guy Matthew here. So appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. So you said three communities in 2024. One of those is primarily uh, going to be for uh, a adult retirement community, right? We normally yeah. see those in Florida, right? Uh, but you guys are taking a stab at it there in Arkansas. Uh, what's that look like? What's that? It's going to be really cool, you know. So we we partnered with a, a national franchise to build this community. It's called Epcon. Okay. And this is like what they do. That's their bread and butter. So we, we're working with them to set up the community. But uh, essentially, we're trying to set up this kind of lock and leave lifestyle so that, yeah. you know, the retirees that, you know, like to travel, like to, to go out and do stuff, they can feel good about the community they're going home to. That's great. Uh, we're going to try to set it up so that there's like a pickleball court, a clubhouse, walking trails. We really want to have this you know, nice, active adult community. That's great. So uh, let's elaborate that a little bit. Cause again, you know, the, the definitely affordability there and you, you've got, you know, the, some, some elderly folks that may be thinking, Hey, maybe this is the new spot. Maybe it's not South Florida that I'm going to move to. Right. Yeah. So what, what is that community going to look like? You talked about pickleball, but what else do you guys are going to offer? Are there going to be restaurants in this community? Like what is, what is that, so that look like? We, it's going to be really close to a bunch of shopping communities and it's actually right sort of next to like an elementary school so you you're really going to be in like a very in my opinion safe community you've yeah. got kids that walk to and from that school all the time right. there's there's a walmart neighborhood market right over there there's all kinds of small kind of shopping stores there's like a i want to say so, like a fitness like a gym i don't know if it's 24 7 or there's some kind of gym over there there's there's just a bunch of stuff right next door to this community. Yeah. So it, it's going to be right next to anything you could possibly need, and it's all pretty much in walking distance. That's, That's awesome. How many, door, how many doors is that going to be, Matt? So there's going to be about 55 or 60. Uh, we're going to have several model homes, and once the neighborhood's completely done, we'll also sell those. Um, but we, we've had a waiting list of people for this community, and it's it's – it's been very sought after because there really isn't anything else like it in Fayetteville right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. When does uh, when does ground break on this project? Are you guys already building these homes, or is this? Uh... So we uh, we've never really built a home in this style before. So we chose to build our model homes first. That way, if we encounter any kind of kinks or obstacles, we can overcome awesome. them on our homes instead of the clients. Man, that's just uh, so we we want to just get going before we actually uh, uh, build the clients. Your values are showing again. <laughs> yeah, we are, our, I'm telling you, our builder, he, he really, it's, it's hard to beat him. He, he really sets the tone and it, it's so easy. Like I said, I'm going back yeah. over myself, but it's so easy to work here because they just, everything they stand for is something that that's know, important everyone else would stand for yeah that's important we see homes coming up here in texas sometimes and you know the the the, the question is is how great are they right how well built are they right? right uh are they being built for a buck to be made quick right are they being built for all the right reasons and it sounds like you know your builder is building homes for the right reasons and making sure that you guys are taking the time to build them right i love that sorry dave go ahead yes no, I just kind of, you know, uh, you're, you're kind of one of the first new build consultant that we've had on this show here. You know, uh, and obviously, you know, I'm looking at the houses. I can buy a pre-existing for 200000 or I can buy a new build for 200000 To me, it's a no-brainer. What's uh Hey guys, it's Devin and David. We're your real estate success partners. Hey, if you're enjoying these podcasts and want us to keep bringing back this content, uh, we truly appreciate you following us. Uh, but if you could go below and subscribe, 
or make some comments, we'd truly appreciate it. And we'll keep bringing back great content in 2024. T- tell me the advantage. To, uh, I, I can't oh, yeah. take this advantage of a new bill. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely. So the biggest thing that I love here with Riverwood is when you build a home with us from the ground up, you get to personalize it. Yeah. So a lot of these other builders, you know, they, uh, they'll they offer you like a palette. They'll say you can pick from this palette of colors, this palette of colors, or this palette of colors. Yeah. We at Riverwood, we have our own designer that you would come into the design studio and handpick everything you pick your brick your garage door color your your sockets and fascia we have different roof colors i mean i could i could really talk for some time about all the different options but you get to personalize that home down to even the the door hinge color you get to pick so i mean it you really get to make this home yours you know last time i looked dave because we do this similar stuff here in texas oh yeah that's that's not the treatment you get on the 200 300 thousand dollar homes that don't exist anymore right because now it's 400 500 uh that's what you get on your eight hundred thousand to 1.5 or plus million dollar wow. homes right so wow. you know the fact that you guys are giving that type of luxury experience right uh yeah. to the yeah. first time home buyers that are looking for value uh man wow i mean you're, you guys are offer not just a great value but it's just an amazing experience like this is this is good stuff man really yeah that's that's one of the biggest things we focus on is customer experience all of the agents here including myself we put the customer first we yeah. you know the, the the thing that we're taught the first question we're taught to ask the customer is you know, what is what is the most important thing to you in your home yeah and then that's sort of where we take it from there it's not about you know, what's the biggest house I could sell this person? It's about what, what's best for them. Yeah, that's great. Well, I feel it. I feel it. I feel it in the way you talk. I feel it in the way you communicate. And, uh, you know, that's 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 a great thing because at the end of the day, you want to be able to trust the builder that's building your home. You know, you want to know that there was a little love that went into that. And I can definitely feel the love from this side of the, the camera. So uh, great stuff, Matthew, seriously. So, okay, so we've talked about a few different communities. Um, so we've got the retirement community that's coming up. And yeah. then we have the other two communities. Um, you know, tell us about those. Are they both the 1,400 square foot? to 3,000 square foot homes. So they're very similar to each other. Yes, they're very similar. Now the, the neighborhood in Lowell is the, the largest homes in that community will probably be about 2,100 square feet. Um, the neighborhood in Farmington is, is where you'd see that the really big range. Yeah. Uh, uh, the neighborhood in Farmington, I, I really, really like, uh, we've been building it for several years now. We're on to phase four. Uh, we're going to, when it's all said and done, we'll probably have something like three or 400 homes in this community. And That's great. Again, yep. this, this neighborhood's right next to an elementary school, a neighborhood market. And because Farmington isn't, it, I'd call it kind of a smaller town. It gives you that small town feel. That's great. But it's right next to the University of Arkansas in Fayetteville. So yeah. if you, if you need anything, it's 10, 15 minute drive and you're, you're in Fayetteville. It's That's fantastic. really cool. Uh, flip into Lowell. So Lowell is really central in Northwest Arkansas. It's a great spot if you work for one of the big companies like Walmart, Tyson, or J.B. Hunt because it's it's so centralized. It's 15 minutes north up. You're in Rogers, Bentonville area. 15 minutes south, you're down into the Fayetteville, Springdale area. So it it's really centralized, and I, I highly recommend it for our our married couples where you know the husband might work up north. The wife might come mm. down south, and it's, your it's commuters. a perfect compromise. Yes, yeah, yeah, your commuters. So what goes into these subdivisions other than houses? Uh, do you guys build an, an, any additional amenities? Um, we, you know, we really don't, aside from just maintaining the entrances. A few of our neighborhoods have ponds and fountains, but we, we really focus on the affordability and keeping yeah. our POAs low. So uh, pretty much in all of our neighborhoods, the POA is not going to be more than $200, $250 annually. That's great. Um, so that that's just another way we try to help our clients, you know, with the the affordability. You're 100, 100. percent So an affordable home, an affordable POA, right? Uh, what do the taxes look like there in Arkansas? Oh, it, so it depends on the the, the uh, community. If you're going to be in one of the more developed, like Bentonville or, or Fayetteville, mm-hmm. it's going to be a little bit more. But like Lowell, Farmington, there there's still a lot of farmland in these yeah. towns, so the taxes are incredibly affordable. Yeah, that's great. Is it still great. USDA territory? Do you know or no? 
Yeah, in Lowell in uh, Farmington, yeah, we can do the RD loans and FHA loans. Uh, Boom. Would, of course, we don't have any yeah. lenders, but you know, we, we love to work with other lenders. Well, we do offer uh, both FHA and USDA products, uh, but the benefit to the USDA, you know, for that consumer that wants to buy that perfect home but doesn't have the capital up front, you know, that's a hundred absolutely that's a hundred percent product, right? So you can yes, essentially yeah. get into these homes with no money out of pocket, and these are exactly. really well built homes, right? Uh, we talk about the FHA piece, you know, we also offer a program called the Smart Buy, and this is a down payment assistance program that's proprietary to us. So, you know, if you've got consumers out there that are looking to get into a home, and again, they haven't had the ability to save up for the down payment, or maybe they have the down payment, but don't have the closing costs. Uh, these are programs that we offer that can help get those consumers into those homes as well. So, yeah. you know, if you're out there in those two marketplaces and, you know, you don't have the capital, you can still buy a home and you can still buy Absolutely. a great home because these guys have yeah. amazing, amazing products. So I love that. Appreciate it. Yeah, Appreciate absolutely. It. Yeah, we, we love that because those loans really do go hand in hand with these, the first time home buyer, you know, it, it really helps out. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. That's great. So uh, let's go back and talk about this. So obviously, we know what you're doing, you know, with uh, with with your building side of the business. Uh, but you're, you're also a real estate agent, right? So do, yeah, do you ever yeah. step outside of the communities that you guys are building? I, you know, I do. But it's really at this point in my career, it's really kind of like for friends and family. Yeah. Uh, Riverwood, they I'm so busy here. It, it it really, if I was taking on a bunch of clients, I don't know, I would. I'd <laughs> well, you're already taking away. on a bunch of clients. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, you know, I, I help out like my sister and friends here and there with, with their properties. But uh, really, uh, it's my primary focus is just, you know, helping, helping people buy with Riverwood. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, again, 300 plus home sales last year. I, you're right. You don't have the time <laughs> to get out there and dabble with the side job, right? You know, you've got to stay focused yeah. on those customers and, and get those in there, those those folks in their homes. So, you know, we, we get it. You're busy. You're busy. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, that's over 20 sales a month, you know? Yeah. So this guy's, you know, he's hustling. Yeah, he's busy. Yep. <laughs> Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So let's let, let's explore a little bit. And we always like to talk, you know, we yeah. know what you're doing at work. And we know this is a family business, right? Um, you yeah. know, what do you do when you're not at work, brother? Like, are you just Gosh, tired here yeah. all the time? <laughs> he's I, always I, working, you know, Devin. <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. I always keep my phone and a portable charger with me because I yeah. oftentimes by 5 p.m. My phone is almost dead because I've been using it so much. Right. It, Outside of work, I love to go fishing. I, I have a boat that my grandparents gifted me. It was That's a, awesome. It was a remodel. We we spent all summer working on it. So there's on top of it being a great fishing boat. There's a lot of sentimental value there. Yeah. Um, but I, I love to get out on the water an and even yeah oh yeah it'll be in my family for for years to come. But That's awesome. Gosh, I, I love to love get out the on tradition. the water even if I'm not fishing. Uh, Northwest Arkansas's got tons of waterways that are you know great for leisure and just casual boat rides it's it's just something i really enjoy yeah yeah no that's amazing yeah it's funny i saw my uh, videographer over here give me the thumbs up he was just out on the the water this monday uh i was working oh, cool. but he took my stepson out uh with him and his son so <laughs> so they okay. and they caught some beautiful beautiful striped bass they were absolutely good oh nice about, about 10 yeah, pounders I love bass. That's yeah awesome. about 10 pounders so you know we're looking forward to getting wow. to try some of those this weekend <laughs> yeah that'll be awesome yeah, absolutely we, uh, we, we love fishing. We've got the stripes over at Beaver. Uh, my grandpa, I, I wasn't alive, but he's got pictures of the time he caught a 30-pounder out of Beaver Lake. Ooh. It was pretty <laughs> crazy. So there, there's some monsters out there. If you yeah. Can yeah. Well, again, you know, we, we, we maybe didn't intend to go there, but what we're going there again is just showing people why these communities are great places to live. Because yeah. last time I looked, a lot of people like to go out on the water and, uh, you know, having the opportunity to maybe catch a 30 pound striped bass, you know, that's a once in a lifetime experience. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Northwest Arkansas is great for any kind of outdoor activity or lifestyle. It's I believe Rogers, Bentonville, Bella Vista area is yeah. just like the, the, uh, bicycle capital of like the USA. I have in my life, I've never seen so many people riding their bikes than when I go up north to the Bentonville Rogers area. It's there's so many trails. There's there's this thing called the Razorback Greenway and it it connects a lot of northwest Arkansas through bike paths. So if yeah. you're 
you're really into biking, there's a lot of good paths to travel. What's up? Uh, so, so let's talk a little bit about weather there in Arkansas too. What does that look like? Yeah. I, you guys have some uh -oh. seasons. Is it just cold and hot? Like what's, oh, yeah. what's we, the weather like? We up? get all of them. Uh, yeah. Northwest Arkansas gets uh, the the wildest of weather. So today, <laughs> as of right now, it's it's kind of like in the sixties, maybe low seventies. Yeah. But this morning it was like kind of in the forties. Like we we get the nice mix. Uh, in the winter we get snow. We get ice uh, yeah. in the spring. We get lots of rain, and then the summer we we get some heat. I'm sure it's not like Texas heat. But it's, <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> you know what we found is Texas heat gets hot and stays hot. What I've typically found in the the central states, it gets hot but cools back down in the evening time. Right. So You're absolutely right. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's great to be out here summer nights. Uh, being out late is some of my favorite things to do. Night night fishing here. Uh, count me in. I'm. It's my favorite thing. You, the and weather's with, great. The fishing's great. There's yeah, not much to the, complain about. With the seasons, then, you probably get, you know, a good spring where there's things blooming and just beautiful oh, green, yeah. lush, you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then I would imagine in the fall, you guys are actually seeing the, the leaves change and the oh, colors changing on the trees. gorgeous. Northwest Arkansas is through the, the Ozark National Forest. So uh, we, we see all kinds of colors in the fall. It's just gorgeous. I was yeah. I was married in the fall just for that reason because we wanted those colors in our photos. That's it awesome. Really cool. Well, and that's what we're you know I'm trying to paint a little picture here because we've got this beautiful scenery, right? This just amazing yeah. location, affordable housing, right? Which you know, quite frankly, in a lot of part of the United States today, that's a problem, right? There's a lot of difficulty with affordable homes and uh absolutely you guys bring those to the table and then you've got folks that are out riding bikes and enjoying this beautiful weather that we're talking about it's great right? out oh, on the lake i mean what's not to love right this is a uh, outdoorsman's paradise absolutely it's hard I, it's hard to be unhappy here you know yeah. there, there's a lot to enjoy and, and have fun with that's fantastic. I, I, I love hearing that. I love hearing that, you know, and, and I can see now why, you know, you guys had so many home sales last year. You know, you've got a little slice of heaven out there, you know, yeah, you, you absolutely oh do. Gosh, I, I'm of course biased being a, 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 you know, a native here, but gosh, I, I really can't see myself living anywhere else. Yeah, that's great. Hey, Matt, we could talk to you all day, but before we let you go, I, I do have a question for you. Yeah. I think, I think you've been on the now, what, six years, six or seven years, right? Uh, you know, we're going on year like four and a half. Four and a half. Sorry. <laughs> four and a half years. No, you're good. But I mean, he's born to the business, that, right? He's born but to yeah, the business. Yeah. He does 300 <laughs> transactions a year. And, and everybody else's years, not a rookie. you've been in the business for, for like 40 years. Uh, yeah. You've done the same amount of traction in four years, and it takes most people to do a 50-year career. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. you know, I always, I always actually ask this question, you know, what, what – of all the transactions you've done, what's the one transaction mm. that uh, means the most to you? Why you say, hey, man, oh, this, yeah. is why I'm, this is why I'm in real estate. This is why I, I, it, I like to sell homes. It was my very first transaction. I uh, I sold. I worked with a guy. I sold him a house in our Farmington community, and he had moved here from Orlando with his family. And their, they – just the the their happiness when they the the closing day came they yeah. they walked into their house and saw the finished product the way their faces just lit up with smiles it just i was just like, wow this is it right here i could i could do this for the rest of my life the way i mean yeah. when they when they come to their studio we pick out all their materials and we can basically put all of their house materials on a shelf so it, it could be a little difficult to imagine the finished product because renderings aren't always the same. But once you walk into your house and they see this this image, this dream they've been thinking about, when they finally see it, that aha moment, yeah, yeah man, oh, I love it. All oh. those pieces came together, you know? Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's when you finally put that puzzle you together. You build a home. You step back and look at it and you're like, you build them a home, you know, home. this is home. You know, I think home is, yes. you know, that's the home is where the heart is, you know, absolutely. And, and you're bringing those hearts to those families. Oh, and I, I can just relate from when I moved into my Riverwood house, it was my first house. And I, I just hold those emotions in tight and I just apply that to each transaction I work. And what a great guy. 
<laughs> uh, that's, I, 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 I can feel it, man. Yeah, you almost I made do. me cry. Just now, man. No, you guys are awesome, man. No, man. That's, that's, at the end of the day, you care. That's 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 what's great, yeah. man. You know what? I, I got in this business for the same reason. I've been in banking for years, but until I started, you know, getting involved in the largest purchase of someone's lives, it's just it's just the feeling that you yeah. give them when you hand them their keys is is overwhelming. Yeah, it's a special. Oh, it, I could not relate even more it's it's that time when i i slide the the garage door over garage door openers and the keys over to them i'm like here you go man it's it's yours it that's cannot beat that feeling that's no awesome. not all. so real quick here so married yes kids yes, no 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 we we just got married in october of 2023 congratulations so thank you thank you we're still trying to enjoy our our young the newlyweds we, Yes, yeah, we want to experience life together, travel a little bit, but we do want to have children here probably in the next four to five years. That's great. And so, uh, if the wife was here, uh, you know, anything you'd want to say to her? Oh, I just say, "Hey, babe, I'm on a podcast." <laughs> <laughs> my man, my man, I love it. I love it. Well, uh, brother, we can't keep you here all day. We know you got to get back out there. You're a busy guy. Is there anything you wanted to cover today that we should have talked about? Gosh, you know, I the only thing I'd leave, you know, for the audience and the listeners is just, you know, uh, don't don't give up. I know the the market can be discouraging at times, but stick in there because home ownership is worth it. You know, it, it really is. I talk to all my friends about this that are in rentals and apartments. It's like you guys are paying someone else's mortgage. You know, you, yeah. you need to be putting this equity into your pocket and not someone else's. Yeah. It, I really, it, it can be discouraging, but I really cannot recommend it enough guys. Just stick, stick with it. You will find your home. Yeah. Build some generational wealth for yourself. You know, absolutely. That's I where mean, it all starts. Could not recommend it enough. We see families all the time, Matthew, you know, that, that literally came from nothing, came from poverty, yeah. you know, it never uh, had a home that their family could call their own. And you lead them to that home. And I, I think you do this all the time. You know, I can feel it with your sincerity. Yeah. And uh, you teach them how they can actually start to build generational wealth for themselves. And, Absolutely. You know, the first time you see one of those buyers sell that house and move to the next one and take that equity and go, wait a minute. I just made a hundred thousand dollars, right? Yes, you know? yes. I. We, How is this love- possible? How is this true, right? And that's that's the difference between renting and buying, right? That's the difference between Absolutely. renting and buying because you're never going to have a rental situation where you walk away a hundred k up, right? We no, see buying nope. situations where you walk away thirty thousand, a hundred thousand, a quarter of a million, half a million dollars up, depending Absolutely. on the size of the home you buy, and that's because. A real estate invested is a is a great investment. In fact, in the uh, eighty years of of re- the last eighty years, the last eight decades, we've only seen seven marketplaces where property values have devaluated. Right? Only mm-hmm. twice has that happened inside of a decade. So what that says is you got a ninety one point seven five percent chance <laughs> that you're going to make money when you're purchasing a home, and that's yeah. Hey, I'll take those on. <laughs> <day. laughs> where, where else is that going to happen? Yeah, right? Real estate. Oh, it's it, in real estate. It's, yeah. It's the best investment to protect yourself against rising housing costs. It really is. My man, my man. Great. A lot of wisdom with this guy. Mm-hmm. A lot of wisdom with this guy. So. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Well, so again, we know you're in Arkansas, Northwest Territory. You represent a lot of markets. Go ahead and rattle that off again real quick. Uh, when yeah, yeah. Are, so are looking to find you. Pretty much uh, anywhere in Northwest Arkansas. We're, we're in Lowell, Fayetteville, and Farmington for 2024, but you know, we're probably going to be in other locations in Fayetteville, in Lowell. We're, we're looking to be in all kinds of communities. Uh, we're, you know, we're always looking for land. You know, we're we're constantly looking to, to find new new communities to build. So, yeah. Coming you know, soon. <laughs> absolutely. And if you're absolutely. a developer and have some land that you might want to turn them on to, maybe yeah. give them a call. Maybe yeah, give maybe me a call. Give there's a good call. fit. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And I, you know, we, we love to work with landowners that, you know, that care about the land that they're selling because we, we care about the community and we, we really make sure that we're, we're putting a good product out there for our customers. Just a special kind of awesome. (laughs) (laughs) So Matthew, when the folks out there want to find you, uh, how do they get, how do they get in touch? What's the best way to get in touch with you? Yeah, guys. uh, So the best, best way is personal call. uh, My cell phone number's, 479-879-2991. Uh, 
if you're not good with calling, I can I can text, or if you prefer email, uh, my email is Matthew with two T's, and then the letter B is in boy at Riverwood Homes NWA.com. Right. And Riverwood Homes uh, NWA.com. That's the website too, right? If you're looking yep, for uh, that Riverwood so community, yeah. If none of that works for you, just go to our website. We have an online sales assistant. His name is also Matthew, and he loves <laughs> to help people. So, you know, if, if you'd like to work with through that way, check our website out. There's a well, lot go window there. shop a little bit, right? Get a little yeah, window gosh, shop, man. Yeah, go check yeah, out the yeah, website. Yeah. See those homes that could be yours, and then call yeah. Matthew, and, uh, you know, he's going to get you in there, and he's going to make sure you get a great experience, you know, and, and really well you know, taken care of because he cares. Um, by the way, guys, we'll put that. If you're watching the video, you already saw it. It's in the lower thirds of the video. If you're listening to this podcast, please go over and check out the description, get Matthew's information, and make sure you give him a call uh, because, again, you know, these guys truly care. Uh, it's a family-owned and operated business. You know, they're building beautiful homes, and I've seen these homes at a very affordable price point. You're getting that luxury experience because they're going to let you tailor make each step so that you can watch those homes come to life, uh, you know, Absolutely. from start to finish. So uh, thank you so much, Matthew, for being here today. Yeah. Uh, you know, honored to sit across the table from you, brother. Hey, same here, guys. Thanks for having me on. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Dave, uh, anything you'd like to say before we wrap this one up today? Man, if you're looking for an affordable house and want brand new, call Matt. He's your man. Hey, thanks. Thank Give him a call. <laughs> awesome. All right, good Appreciate stuff, it, guys. guys. Well, we're your yeah. Real Estate Success Partners. I'm Devin Abu. I'm David Wynn. If you want to check us out, come on over to realestatesuccesspartner.com. Again, that's realestatesuccesspartner.com. But we'd love it if you come over to YouTube at the Dubuque team, and you can watch that whole video with Matthew right there. Or check us out on Instagram or Facebook. Um, we're going to have some clips out here and links right back to this podcast. So make sure you get out there and uh, or other podcasts, right? Uh, and uh, make sure you comment. We love the reviews. Please subscribe so we can keep bringing great content out to you moving forward. Until the next one. See you guys. We'll see you then.